Hey buddies, Mr. Puggy here coming at you in another Wonderlands video. Today I'm going to be showing you a infinite projectile glitch that was recently discovered in the community that is able to transform your gun firing from this to this. And all it requires is one single enchantment. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch in the top right. You have no idea how much helps me out. And let's get into the video. Legendary? Whoa! No way! I'll give credit where credit is due. I did discover this from a Reddit post by the user Snoo Capers 5573. I have been told that apparently this has been discovered before, but I haven't seen anybody put it into limelight. But nevertheless, I'm going to show you how you do it. It's very easy to do. And the fun thing about this glitch is that it works through fast travel, through death, upon switching weapons, upon switching your weapons out of here and into back into your hand. It sticks on the weapon no matter what, and it has some interesting properties as well that we'll be talking about just so you know how to do it correctly. Just so we can see this glitch in action, I'm going to be using this gun, which I have not used the glitch on yet. I did use it on a couple different guns just so we can see how it looks. My favorite was so far the launcher, but this one's also pretty fun. You see a bunch of different waves just come out and it kind of violently shakes your screen, which is fun. But we're going to be using the Equine Phoenix just baseline, just so we can see how the effect actually works. So preferably you want to go to a field with low HP targets and just pick any spell that you want that has this enchantment after getting a spell kill, gain 50% chance to shoot an additional projectile for a moderate duration. I found that the wording's a bit deceptive. The way it's worded, it kind of makes it seem like every single time you shoot, it's going to have that 50% chance of shooting the additional projectile, but it's more like 50% chance on kill you get this effect. And since it's permanent, we don't have to worry about the duration effect. So unfortunately, uh, not every single time you kill kill a target with the spell, you're going to get it to a proc. So be patient, it's a 50-50. So I'm going to kill two targets here to the best of my capabilities, just so we can see, hopefully it proc right away since there's two coin flips in my favor here, as opposed to just one. If they get into range together like this, I killed only one, unfortunately. I might've killed the second one a little bit to the tail end. I actually kind of did. So what I did there, I should have explained it a little bit, but I will go over it again. I went into my menu and quickly unequipped the spell because I don't want the duration to end before I can show the effect off. So I switched my Glacial Cascade to the Love Struck Bow, which does not have the enchantment. If you switch it to a spell that does have the enchantment, it doesn't actually matter. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just using a random spell. Now that I swapped, let me see if I did get the double projectile. It doesn't appear that we did. Yeah, we're only getting one arrow still. So I'm going to have to do it again. And this is a great chance because I didn't quite explain it when I was going through the menu. So let's kill another target and see if we can't get it to happen. Here's two targets over here. I'm going to get them both to around half HP and kill one and see if we can't get the glitch to activate. If it doesn't after this, we'll of course cut to a part when it actually does. So I'm gonna kill the two enemies. Of course, you don't have to kill two enemies at once. That's just what I'm doing to have a greater chance of doing it. So you could kill one enemy. I'm just being extra, I guess. So now that I did that, I'm going to swap over to a different spell. I'm going to see if it worked. Once again, it doesn't look like we got it. So let me cut to a part when we actually do get it to work because <laughs> it's not working here. That's RNG for you, I guess. And there we go. Now we have two projectiles with this gun. I'm not sure why it took so many chances. Once again, it is only a 50% chance of this proccing. I did kill a lot of targets before we got this chance to happen. I was a lot more luckier when I wasn't recording, but there we go. Now we have this gun that shoots double jet projectiles and we could potentially stack this over and over and over. So if I wanted to, I could re-equip the spell, kill a new target, and then once again, unequip the spell after we get a kill. And then that's the reason why we have a times four thunder blue cake, which means we have a lot more projectiles than we normally do with this said weapon. I also procced it with the cross blade, as you can see right here, or right here, I meant to say. We have about like five cross streams coming out of this cross blade gun, as well as I two times the sword explosion right here. So this is two times and this is two times. So the interesting thing about alt fire weapons is that when you get this additional projectile effect, it doesn't actually affect 
both normal firing mode and alt firing mode. It actually only procs whatever you are on at the time. And I know it's a bit deceptive since I have two times on both, but that's because I was testing it earlier. So I'm going to quit my game, re-enter, which is going to reset the glitch on all my guns. And you will see that if I try to get the glitch to proc, we're only going to have it on the firing mode that we had it on at the time of the kill. So now that we're reloaded, I'm going to re-equip my spell that has the enchantment. This enchantment only spawns on spells as far as I'm aware, so keep that in mind if you want to do this glitch, if you're trying to farm for that enchantment or re-roll for it. I'm going to get these guys lowered for the purpose of the video real quick and get them killed in a few moments. So I killed them with the spell. Let's see if we didn't get it to proc. Nope, we weren't that lucky that time. Try to get it on this guy. And I think that proc that time because I see a blue glow on my gun, which is a good indicator of it. There we go. The blue glowing on the gun is a good indication of when it actually procs because once you actually get the enchantment to proc, you're going to see this blue glow on your gun. Now this is going to proc on all your guns because it's going to think that the game's going to essentially think that it's procced forever. So it's going to be on all your guns, but it's only going to, you know, have the additional projectile effect on the gun that you actually had equipped at the time. So that's a good indicator when you first start the glitch. Of course, when I had the glitch already active before, I couldn't quite look for that, but that's a key thing you can look for when trying to activate the glitch for the first time. Now that we have that, I'm going to show that we have two sword explosion swords coming out of my single pellet sword explosion. As you can see right here, it's a single pellet. And if I swap over to sticky, we're only going to see one sword as opposed to two like we did earlier. So if I wanted the sticky version to have two times, which is ideal for the sword explosion, I would unfortunately need to have it in sticky mode and then kill a target with the spell. So keep that in mind. Now this glitch pertains going through maps, dying, as I said before, going into chaos chambers. So you could essentially get this proc on a bunch of small guys and be like, okay, now I want to go do chaos chambers, like really go through them really quickly so you can farm items really fast potentially, or even just have fun you know, killing a boss really quickly. That's pretty much everything that's been discovered with the glitch. There is no cap as far as I'm aware. It endlessly stacks. I haven't seen any cap for the stack when during my testing. I just want to give a big thanks to the supporters who support my channel. I do want to say that YouTube does not pay the bills. It's the members that really help me really pay for the bills essentially. So thank you for all that you do. Of course, we have the members of Clairvoyance, Rick and Glacius, Grey Wolf, Cameron, Wishkeeper, and Call Doctor. If you'd also like to support the channel and help me pay my bills, <laughs> you could of course support me by joining the channel or my Patreon on the top right or the comments and description link as well. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. <laughs> bye bye. And the last shall be First to immerse in a pass out heat Facing him up with a moxie melt Till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell Born a cave with a torch on a wall Then a window arrangement of porcelain dolls